Hello friends, today we are going to see how the actors in the film, Die Hard changed over time. The film was released 34 years ago in 1988. Let's see how they look then, and now in 2022. Mary Ellen Trainer was an American character actress. She appeared as Gail Wallens in the film. She died on May 20th, 2015 at the age of 63 years. She was 36 years old then. Anthony Peck was an American actor, appeared in Die Hard as a cop. He died on July 30th, 1996 at the age of 49 years. He was 41 years old then. Bruno Doyen was an American actor, appeared in Die Hard as Franco. He died on February 7, 2022 at the age of 60 years. He was 27 years old then. Alexander Borisovich Godunov was a Russian-American ballet dancer and film actor. He appeared in the film as Carl. He died on May 18, 1995 at the age of 46 years. He was 39 years old then. Hans Brenger is an Austrian actor who appeared in Die Hard as Fritz. He is 64 years old now. He was 30 years old then. William Atherton, an American actor, appeared in the movie as Richard Thornburg, an unscrupulous TV reporter. He is 74 years old now. He was 40 years old then. Matt Landers was an American actor. He appeared in Die Hard as Mitchell. Matt died on March 12, 2015 at the age of 63 years. He was 36 years old then. Deborah White, an American actor, appeared in the film as Argyle, John's limousine driver. He is 56 years old now. He was 22 years old then. Clarence Gilliard is an American university professor and actor, appeared as his Theo, Gruber's tech specialist. He is 66 years old now. He was 32 years old then. Andreas Wisniewski is a German actor and former dancer. He appeared in the film as Tony. He is 62 years old now. Andreas was 28 years old then. Lorenzo Cacciolanz is an Italian-born American football goalkeeper and actor. He appeared in the film as Marco. He is 67 years old now. He was 33 years old then. Albert Leong is an American stuntman and actor. He appeared in the film as Yuli. He is 69 years old now. He was 35 years old then. Hart Matthew Bochner, a Canadian actor, film director, screenwriter and producer, appeared as Harry Ellis, a sleazy Nakatomi executive. He is 65 years old now. He was 31 years old then. Alan Rickman, was an English actor of the stage and screen, appeared in Die Hard as Hans Gruber, the ruthless leader of the terrorists. He died on January 14, 2016 at the age of 70 years. He was 48 years old in 1988. Dennis Hayden is an American actor, producer and writer, appeared as Eddie in the film. He is 70 years old now. He was 36 years old then. Paul Gleason was an American film and television actor, appeared as Wayne T. Robinson, the LAPD deputy chief. He died on May 27, 2006 at the age of 67 years. He was 49 years old then. James Saburo Shigeta was an American actor of Japanese descent, appeared in the film as Joseph Yashinobu Takagi, Nakatomi's head executive. He died on July 28, 2014 at the age of 85 years. He was 59 years old then. 
Taylor Fry is a former American child actress who appeared as Lucy McLean in the film. She is 40 years old now. She was 6 years old then. Robert John Dobby is an American actor and singer. He appeared in the film as Big Johansson. He is 70 years old now. He was 36 years old then. Reginald Belgensen, an American actor, appeared as Al Powell, an LAPD sergeant. He is 69 years old now. He was 35 years old then. Bonnie Bedelia, an American actress, appeared as Holly McLean, a high-ranking Akatomi executive, and John's estranged wife. Bonnie is 74 years old now. She was 40 years old then. Bruce Willis, an American actor, appeared in the film as John McLean, a New York City police detective. Bruce is 67 years old now. He was 33 years old when he worked in Die Hard film in 1988. I am working full time on this channel now. I desperately need your help to grow this channel. You can help me by liking, sharing and commenting on this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, press the bell icon and turn on the notification. My name is Amanda and I'll see you in the next video soon. Thank you all so very much.